Hey, what's up? It's Deanna. So I just got this really awesome book today. It's called The Teddy Bear Encyclopedia by Pauline Cockrell. And the original version of this book was written in 1993. And I believe they made a second edition in 2001. And it's a phenomenal, phenomenal book if you collect teddy bears. And you need to identify them and find out who the maker was, when it was made, and fa you know interesting facts and historical information about the companies that made them. So I wasn't 100% sure who made this bear and when it was made. And so when I got the book today, I was able to identify this bear 100% that it's Japanese, made in the 1940s, and it's a post-war bear. And apparently in 19, probably 45 or so, the Japanese started to uh, really make an output of uh, really nice teddy bears to be imported into the U.S. for sale. And so here's an example of some of the Japanese bears. I'm trying to like hold the book up because there's a glare. But um, it's explaining about how they were made with synthetic materials back then. And uh, it gives you a little history on Japanese bears. And apparently the bear I may have was probably made in the 1940s by the Camar Toy Company. And its distinctive feature was airbrushed paw pad designs. And as you can see here, mine has that distinctive airbrushed paw pads made out of velveteen. And they're carded. So on the bottoms of the soles, there's little cardboard pieces that are inserted into the bottom so the bear can stand up on its own. And it's really a cool design. And in the book, you could see it here. And so that explains, and what's great about this book, it like it really, really shows you every single detail of the features of each bear by each maker and to help you identify when it was made and uh, like uh, the features to look for for certain makers. And it's not just uh, these Japanese bears, it's germ they're German bears, American bears, Australian bears, English bears, Irish bears. It, it shows you like every kind of bear that was made. And so here's another example of a bear like mine in the 1940s, and I'll show you him again. And there's those distinctive paw pads, and in here, distinctive paw pads, 1940s, it's saying. And uh, that's really interesting. Now, this particular bear, I believe, was a copy, and the Japanese were known to copy other designs from other makers. And I believe this bear was supposed to meant to be a copy of Stife's Teddy Baby, which started to be made in the 1930s and was continued to be made in the 1950s. And he has a really distinctive little threaded mouth that looks like he has a tongue sticking out. I don't know if you could see that. So the threading not only has like a black stitch, but it has like a peach colored stitch that appears to be a tongue. And uh, he has lovely amber eyes. I don't know if you could see that, but um, they're really nice amber eyes. And his fur apparently was a synthetic plush that was made to look like almost like a wool or a mohair. And he has nice long arms. He's fully jointed. And his face is just really, really sweet. He's a very sweet looking bear. Now the example in the book looks very cheaply made and it looks like one of those carnival bears and my version actually looks like a high quality one. And so this particular one is a lovely, lovely bear. And also the other example that they show from the forties, again, looks like a cheaply made bear made out of like a cheap, like car carnival bear uh, plush. And then this guy has that really nice wool look to him. And that almost looks like mohair. And he has like a shaggy looking fur. And he's just absolutely adorable. And so let me show you the rest of this book. So if you collect teddy bears and you need to identify your teddy bear maker, this book will really, really help you. So it also gives you history of different companies. It explains a lot about the bears that were made the different markings they used and tags to help you identify your bear. And so here's some other examples. It tells you um, the history of each company. Here's a, a guns bear. It's an American bear. And it shows you all the distinctive features to look out for to find out if you have one of the bears made by them. And let me keep showing you. It shows you Stife bears, English bears. And, it, you know, it's broken down by the years 
There's more history of different factories and different tags they used. So this is really, really an, a phenomenal, phenomenal book. Very, very nicely made. It's a nice hardcover book. And the best part of it all is that you can get this book for about five bucks on Amazon.com. Actually, I got this one on thriftbooks.com and it was only like $4.99 plus like $3.99 for shipping. So that was like a really great deal. A nice hardcover book with over 200 and something pages in it. And again, I highly, highly recommend it. It's uh, fantastic. It's helping me to identify some of the bears in my collection that I was unable to identify. And now it uh, looks like I'm going to be able to identify a lot of my bears now. So once again, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe and have a great night.